On Sevens Big League, we check the leading goal kickers now after four rounds. Still on top, Simon Beasley with only two goals today for a total of 23. Brian Taylor only got one today for 22. Michael Roach, four today for 21. Brian Wilson, another five today for 19. And Mark Jackson and Mark McClure, each on 18 goals. If you're having a bet on the footy today, it came out like this in footy bets. Melbourne, selection four and five dollars 25. North Melbourne, selection seven, nine dollars 80. Essendon, selection one, $14.15, a good dividend there. Richmond, selection 15, $6.10, and a huge dividend. Carlton, selection 10, and the dividend payable there was $32.10. The footy quad, Melbourne, North, Essendon and Richmond, $496.05. On 7th Big League, a very popular uh, feature now every, uh, every week, NEC footy flashbacks, as when, uh, once again we go up to Sandy Roberts. Thank you, Peter, and welcome once again to NEC's fantastic footy flashbacks. I don't know how we're going to do it. We've had so many letters for so many players and different incidents over the years. I hope we'll get through them all this season. In particular, we've had a number of letters for Geelong fans, the man many people believe revolutionised the game of football with his handball. I'm speaking about the big cat, Polly Farmer. Comes to the ground, picked up by Newland's hand fast here to Farmer. Farmer lines up from 45 yards out and there's no worries at all. Well, Dennis Marshall. Marshall puts his boot in it. He's been shaded in the centre by Barrett. Up it goes towards Wade. Can't hold it down to Farmer. Farmer kicks at the big one. He's got it Newlands gets it across here to Sharrick. Sharrick drives up towards the forward pocket on the other side. And the big fellow there, Farmer, takes the mark. In your favour, the members flank. Keneally's in there, Farmer goes up, hand passes across the middle, Peter Coggan. Peter going for it, a chance there for a mark, but no mark. And Paul could tell it was, who's in that forward pocket. It's down to Marshall. Marshall trying to get that ball, he puts it over to Farmer. Very good work by Farmer. Now, now goes through oh, into centre half this. back, it's all Geelong at the moment. Farmer on his own completely. He passes a long one out to Pollard. It goes now, and it's a oh, nice pass to Farmer. It's in a half back. Farmer steps around. He's going for the long pass out here towards a half forward flank at Eels Marks. Certainly found a new lease of life, Geelong, in this third quarter, Mike. With those three goals have slammed on it. It's good football. Up they go. Farmer gets a tap down. Or goes to Dog and beautiful. The ball in the last line of defence. Tries one out to Farmer. Farmer's on the half back flank. Look at that mighty hand pass over here to Plus. Richmond, Freddie Swift going up the middle. Oh, glorious kick. Farmer from behind, he's got it. It's the ball. It's on Geelong's half forward flank on that outer side. They're kicking down to the Richmond end. Farmer taps it down here for Roy West now to kick out from the near stand end. Puts his boot in it, goes to the outer flank there. Players race it, but Farmer's there and takes the mark. He really was one of the most exciting players ever to wear one of the Geelong jumpers, particularly for Lance Cairns, R&J, Isles, Dwayne Lister, and also Murray Jackson. They're just some of the people that wanted to see Polly Farmer in action. Don't forget, if you'd like to see one of your favourite stars or a memorable incident on NEC Fantastic Footy Flashbacks, all you've got to do is let us know the incident on the back of an envelope and send it in to us here at Channel 7, Dorcas Street, South Melbourne, and we shall do the rest.